elves of hills, brooks, standing legs and groves, and ye that on the sands with printless foot do chase the ebbing Neptune and do fly him when he comes back, you, demi puppets that by moonshine do the green sour ringlets make, whereof the you not bites, and you, whose pastime is to make midnight mushrooms that rejoice to hear the solemn curfew, by whose aid, weak masters though ye be, I have bedimmed the noontide sun, called forth the mutinous winds, and twixt the green sea and the azured vault set roaring war. To the dread rattling thunder have I given fire, and rifted Jove's stout oak with his own boat. The strong based promontory have I made shake, and by the spurs plucked up the pine and cedar. Graves at my command have waked their sleepers, hoped, and let them forth by my so potent art. But this rough magic I hear abjure. And when I have required some heavenly music, as even now I do, to work mine end upon their senses that this airy charm is for, I break my staff, bury it certain fathoms in the earth, and deeper than the ever plummet sound. Please you draw near. Now my charms are all o'erthrown, and what strength I have's mine own, which is most faint. Now it is true I must be here confined by you, or sent to Naples. Let me not, since I have my dukedom got and pardoned the deceiver, dwell in this fair island by your spell. Gentle breath of yours my sails must fill, or else my project fails, which was to please. Now I want spirits to enforce, art to enchant, and my ending is despair, unless I be relieved by prayer, which pierces so that it assaults mercy itself and frees poor faults. As you from crimes would pardoned be, let your indulgence set me free.